Hello, people of the internet. Uh, welcome back to Toho. Uh, as you can see, I have a face cam now. Um, I'm experimenting a little bit. Uh, today, we are playing Toho 8 Imperishable Night. So let's just jump into it. Um, Imperishable Night is one of the easier games. Now, I have actually beaten this game many times on easy mode, and I haven't beaten it on normal mode yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. This game, you can choose pairs, or the characters come in pairs. And actually, the reason why I beat it on easy so many times is if you beat it with all of the characters, you can unlock single characters, so you can play as one character instead. So there are pretty much a total of 12 options that you can have for characters. I personally like Yomu and Yuyuko. But I, we might just do Reimu and Yukari, just for, just because it's standard, I guess. Oh, and, um, about this game. Hold on. Um, this game's also sort of a longer game. I mean, it's it's standard. Like, it's about as long as any other game. You know, there's still six stages. But the thing is, to unlock extra stage, you have to beat normal mode without using any continues. But this game, you actually have to beat it twice. Because there are two different final stages. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Now it's it's probably the easiest game, but that doesn't mean it's easy. Oh my. I already really sort of have to focus. Oh, really? Look, there's nothing out here. The night's still... The night's still only just begun, no need to hurry. You've got no room to say no need to hurry when you're the one who dragged me out here in a hurry. You owe me big for this. So, do you, uh, so don't you forget it. You've been saying nothing here for a while now. Don't worry about it. I'll pay you back. It's not like I'm you. Hey, hey, hey. You've got some guts not being bugged by me. Hot, get it? Cause she's a bug. Ah, hope you got the determination to match that. What is this, Undertale? Was that a pun? No, it was an Undertale reference. <laughs> that reminds me, I forgot something important for an evening stroll back at the shrine. I know what you're trying to say, a mosquito, co a mosquito coil, right? Jeez! <laughs> I'm a firefly. Well, I don't care, you need to die either way, so... Basic stage one, nothing really too special about it. I'll explain how this specific game works, because this one has a lot of interesting gimmicks to it. I'll explain how it works after this stage. not too bad. It is only stage one after all. It gets really difficult by like stage five, especially on normal mode. Really, it's awful at night with all these bugs around. Says one who's only awake at night. Yes, because nature thrives during the night. There have been lots of fireflies lately. Kind of makes me worry a little. Kind of makes me worry a little about the outside world. You don't understand, don't you? It's not like you to worry, though. Okay. 
So, as you can see on the screen, if you look at the bottom, there is a clock sort of thing. This game this game basically runs on a time system. Uh, you start at 11 o'clock, and every time you beat a stage, it advances an hour. And if it gets to 5 a.m. before you beat the game, then it's pretty much game over. And if you look over to all the stats on the right, you'll see Power Gray's point in time. Power and Gray's are the same points if you reach the threshold you get an extra life same as perfect cherry blossom but the time if you reach that threshold before the end of the stage the time will only advance a half hour and the reason you want to do that is because if you want to use any continues if you use a continue it only yes if you use a continue it advances a half hour so use too many continues then it's going to be game over also uh, final B, the sixth stage, when you play through the game a second time, if you reach a lot of the time thresholds, uh, advance it not very much, then you get something special during uh, stage six, uh, the second time through. So, that'll be fun. So it's, it's a little bit complex, but it's in terms of difficulty, it's a good starting point for new players. But I would still recommend Perfect Cherry Blossom just because this has a complicated sort of gimmick to it. Bomb. God. I'm doing bad. <laughs> oh, I didn't change my lives in the options. I'm gonna have to do a second run anyways. Cause this isn't this isn't going very well. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. Tight squeeze. There we go. Wait, wait! What? I thought you were some foolishly tasting humans at long last. Uh, <clears throat> who exactly would you two be? Um, non-humans. Non-humans? Well, it's human or not, I'm fine either way. My, that's rare. Seeing non-humans go along this road? Hmm. You seem to be a night sparrow. You shouldn't attack just humans so often. There won't be any more left around here. That might be so. Uh, that might be so. How about attacking yokai instead of humans? Oh, never mind. Besides, human forms haven't been seen on night roads for a long time. If anyone's here at all, it'd be non-humans who are in a big hurry or had some important reason to be here. Listen, I'll say this once more. We're non-humans in a hurry with an important reason. We don't... We don't have time to waste here. Will you let us pass? The end of this road isn't... The end of this road isn't a place where yokai like Yukari often visit, though. Ah, even though you're playmates after so long. I know. How about we go to the village and mess with some humans together? Ah, jeez, I've said this before, haven't I? Question mark. I can see in the dark. <laughs> She's night blind. <laughs> Ah, human sighted. I'll make you night blind. That she will do. So, so far, everyone wants to eat me and I'm night blind. It's 
pretty much the gist of <laughs> these games at this point. Maybe I shouldn't uh, move to the music. Maybe I should actually focus on dodging. fun begins her final spell you can't see anything now I'm night blind so that's for sure oh boy it's pretty dense not gonna lie but not too bad goodness it was only a night sparrow it's hopefully too early for her to be a uh, be acting like this kind of bird lice. <laughs> was that really a sparrow just now? It was dark, I couldn't see well. If you see a small bird at night, it's usually a night sparrow. If you don't treat them with caution, you'll become unable to see in dark places. Is that really what sparrows are like? Although I couldn't see it well. I'm You're night blind. Ah, I can see the human village. I didn't really want to come here with you, though. I guess we just press on. Actually, wait. The lighting's a, a little bit. That's good. All right. <laughs> it was a bit dark, and then like the glare of the light up there. So I thought I'd turn my lamp on and light up my face a little bit more. Alright, stage three. This stage can get pretty dense. It's already really dense, and I was talking about the boss. Oh, I made a mistake, I made a mistake. favorite songs too. Why are all the stage 3 themes just like the best? Is it you? Are you the ones trying to attack the village in the middle of this night? This horrible scene is your doing, isn't it? Where did you send the humans in their village? I won't hand the humans over to you, Yokai. I'll make this night never... I'll make this night never have happened. Okay. What the heck are you? Hey, put the village back. Extend. Points. Sweet. Got an extend. Okay, I got my lives back, so we're good now. <laughs> Uh, but this game has a lot of uh, 
There's a lot to this game. So persistent. You don't matter right now. <laughs> I say that to people. <laughs> Kidding. Uh, the human village is supposed to be here, right? There's nothing here now. What happened to the humans in their houses and everything? Nothing. I made it so that the village was invisible to your kind. Raymu, we don't have time to stick around here. The moon's gradually shrinking lower as, or sinking lower as we speak. We're not exactly sticking, but hold on. It's not like I can just ignore a yokai that erase a whole village of humans. Humans never settled here in the first place. All I did was make it look that way. I'll protect the humans from this ill omen tonight. Hey, hey. I can see the humans just like usual, though. Trick at this level isn't useful at all, is it? Really, what are you two? Don't worry, they're invisible enough to me. Ugh. <laughs> Your pity isn't helping. <laughs> and you. You're a half-beast, right? I'm a human when the moon isn't full. Not unlike a human-faced dog or a human-faced rock, then. Why are you assuming everything about my face changes? No, why do you assume everything about my face changes? I'll have you know that the transformation is full body. Or is it like Gozu and Mez Mezu? I don't know. Where, uh, only the head turns into a beast. <laughs> oh. If you're gonna say that, I won't let you take it back. Tonight, I will make an imperial feast out of your history. Myself, myself aside, this one's history would amount to some light snacks at best. <laughs> Shut up. Even then, that means every day is tea and snacks for me. Oh, right, right. This gets really dense. I'm bombing. <laughs> oh, this dumb spell. I hate this. <laughs> Good thing I captured it, because I couldn't find a opening there. I was about to get trapped. Oof. Oof. There we go. Oh my god! What? Whoa! What is this spell? Oh, come on! I couldn't even... Oh my god! Oh my god! This spell's so confusing. Bar, there we go. Lasers, of course. What the? Really? I bombed. Now restore the human village. It'll be okay to put it back. We aren't thinking of anything. We aren't thinking anything of you and the humans that were here to begin with. Jeez, I cannot read. <laughs> then where are you trying to go? That way. That's helpful. This way. If you're after the ones behind the recent unusual moon, they're that way. See, I was right, wasn't I? Rima, your finger was off by 70 degrees. You're off by 110. Wait, she figured out what we were trying to do? It'd be more strange if she hadn't figured it out. My. Oh my. So this game has a lot to it, and I'm going to be... This is probably the one I'm going to make the most content on. Well, maybe the other ones, because they're more difficult, maybe. But this has... First of all, I have to unlock single characters, so I already have to beat the game eight times. Um, and there's also spell practice, 
which could be a good thing to do is try and capture all the spells with all the characters basically trying to 100% the game I don't know I'll figure it out but let's just go to stage 4 this is where things get interesting so also where things get really difficult as usual oh, right come from the same side <sighs> oh okay we're good we're good we are good Move and I'll shoot. I messed up. I mean, shoot and I'll move right away. What? Why are you at a place like this, Marissa? Well, uh, I'm just hunting some troublesome yokai, like usual. Hey, what a coincidence. I'm doing the same troublesome yokai hunting, too. What I'm saying is, hunting troublesome yokai, in your case, the troublesome yokai hunting is it. Wait. Did I read that right? I don't know. Not really. My, I wonder what. I wonder what you can do all. By yourself on a night like this. Hunt troublesome yokai. I already I'm already tired of staring at today's moon. It's about time to make it be tomorrow. So who's this troublesome yokai? You! You mess with the boundary of night and day again, right? But we're the ones who's stopping the night. But now isn't the time for that. Indeed, don't you have don't you have eyes on the back of your head? Well she probably doesn't, that's how it is. Speak Japanese, this is gonna so speak English, I can't read Japanese. Looks like nothing we say will get through to her. But that distorted moon is so dangerous. It's not really harmful to humans. Ah? Huh? I don't know what's happening, but a never ending night has harmful written all over it. Yokai eat humans during the night. Rumia? Probably. If the night keeps going, the yokai will stuff themselves until they drop dead. There's no way they'd do that. Yes, they would. Gotta exterminate them before they drop dead. Oh. Oh my. I forget. Marissa's hard. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna die here. I'm not getting past this. I don't have a I don't have a chance. Not the worst spell, but... Ah, running away. Now let's chase her to the ends of the earth. This is trippy. This part's trippy. The background's moving extremely fast. And I don't know how... I don't know how much I like it. Oh, 
Mom, mom, mom. Give me the bomb. This is like the most intense stage I've ever played in a Toho game. Oh, oh we have an extra life too. Oh, if it isn't Raymu, what's up? There's a limit, even to barefaced lies. The last one was for Yokai, this one's for you. Oh boy. I'm getting Patchouli flashbacks. Oh my god. This is one of my least favorite spells of hers. Can we beat stage four? Maybe? Oh, I've made it through that. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> oh right, right, Master Spark. How could I forget? Oh, I had no bombs. <sighs> okay, final spell. All right, it's this one. No. Bomb. I want to use. I really want to use a continue. <sighs> but I also want to stick to my word. So I'm gonna do it so I can finish stage four and then I can practice it later. Full power. Okay. Looks like we arrived at a destination while we were chasing Marissa. Uh, you really are lucky. I wish you could share that luck with my Ron, too. Damn it. What on earth are you two on about? Thanks to you, we know who the culprit is. You weren't useless. Well, we haven't figured out the culprit, but at any rate, they're in that mansion. Well, I lost, so there ain't much I can do. Time to head home and sleep. I hope it'll be morning when I wake up. Sleep for all eternity. Well, try not to catch a cold. All right. I said I'm not, I would do it just to complete stage four. So I'm gonna purposely die so I can at least input a score. Kill me, kill me, kill me. You're not killing me. Excuse me. The one time I wanna die in a bullet hell, you're not gonna kill me. Nope. All right. Uh, put in my name. All right. We made it a lot farther than I thought I would, especially because I didn't uh, change the lives in the options menu, which I should do before I forget. Five. Now you can actually unlock up to seven lives. I forget how. I think you have to get a good ending and a bad ending, so beating the game with continues and beating it without continues? I don't exactly remember, but that's fun. Before I go, before I sign off here, um, oh, do you have to beat the game to unlock spell practice? I 
think you do. Hmm. Well, I'll do that in a different video. I'm running out of time because I don't want this to be too long, especially because I don't want this 33 minute face cam recording to take up all the space on my phone. So, right. Also, if you, uh, if you actually play as Marissa, you get to fight Reimu during stage four. So that's special. So depending on which character you play, um, you face a different boss during stage four. It's either Marissa or Reimu. But I believe Reimu and Yukari, you fight Marissa. Marissa and Alice, you fight Reimu. Sake and Romelia, I think you also fight Reimu. And Yomu and Yuyuko, I think you fight Marissa. That's right. So that's that's always fun. Anyways, that's about all I really have time for. Um, let me know if you enjoyed. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you all in the next video. So stay tuned.